Today I'm going to show you how to configure your router settings or in America you call it your router. Um, the reason why I'm showing you on Windows when the web based configuration is perfectly well on the Mac it is not because I have changed back to Windows as my primary operating system but because with my internet issues, the Windows version offers a resumable uploader so it's easy for me to upload things. Anyway, let's get to it. So, I want to go through a couple of things on how to configure your route today, as I say in England. Um, what you first want to do go to a web browser and type in 192.168.0.1 or .1.1 and try them both see if anything comes up um, I know that mine's .1.1 so I'm just going to put that in um, if I enter dot one dot one, then I get this dialog, and my username is admin, and, and my password is also admin. I know that because I know. It's been like that for most routers, but if you're not sure, consult your particular documentation. Now, here we've got the interface for my particular routed. Um, here we are. And what I wanted to take a look at today because what I think a lot of people have trouble configuring is the wireless settings. Now, these are very important and we're going to talk about some security things and some things that are not security. Remember, router configurations do vary. But you'll normally hear something like this. If you go over to the wireless tab, um, and on mine you get this um, interface. Now, what obviously the wireless radio has to be enabled for it to work, and um, the SSID is the name of the network. Now, don't be unsecure like me and just leave it like. SSID. I've just put it as SSID for the demonstration, but um, but but you would want to change that, so just change it. And then because the reason why you would want to change that is that if someone came by your house and got onto your wireless network. I wanted to hack into it. Um, they would they would be able to guess that if your network name was SSID, you probably left it as the default. So you wouldn't have configured protection either. Um, and you want to use it as the default six channel. You just want to leave that. And then you want if you um when you're detecting the network, you need to um leave it as disabled because obviously you need to be able to see it. And here's where it gets complicated. Um, eight hundred two dot eleven B is old technology 802.11g is slightly newer technology and um, 
obviously B and G is both com compatible. Now, if you have B devices, they'll run slower. So, I would recommend a dedicated network just for your B devices. Um, but you shouldn't set it to any of these super su super ones because that's when things really start getting messed up but if you want to be safe set it to something which can um bng compatible um what you really want to look at is the security now i have mine set to none just for this particular um tutorial but wherever possible you will want select WPA web is better than no technology but it's not very advanced technology so you're gonna want to select WPA and then obviously you're gonna click apply and then your wireless devices should be able to detect your newly configured wireless network. Thanks for listening guys.